Like, I hope y'all wake up and brush y'all teeth and wash y'all balls and ass and shit every day. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, I don't fucking know. You just, sorry. Are you Money tall like Iron Giant. Need a hanger for these racks. Fuck the beef, it's crunch time. Turn them niggas to a pack. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Phil. And um, today, I am going to be... Hold on. Fuck. Today, I don't know, bro. I'm just going to be talking about five things I wish I would have done differently as a new barber. I already forgot the first thing I already fucked. Let me remember. Fuck, hold on. Okay. So, I just looked at my notes. So, now I remember. First thing. The first thing is just how long it would be to build clientele, right? Or how long it would take. If you, like, very consistent, especially if you're in a position like me, even if you wasn't in a position like me, um, if you don't know my position, my position was I was in a situation where I stayed with my parents, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't have I didn't have to, I didn't have no bills, no rent. I didn't help them on bills or anything like that. I was very fortunate to have a situation where my parents didn't make me pay for anything really. I just bought food and bought gas for my car type shit. So I didn't have to work no job or anything, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have to work no part time job. Any part-time jobs I worked was just because I chose to work them, but I was quitting jobs left and right. I had oddball jobs. I was working at fucking Subway, a uh, thrift store, uh, another fucking Subway, another city. All over the place, bro. I went to a fucking shipyard out here in Pasigula, Mississippi, where they build ships for the fucking the Navy and shit like that. It's called Ingle Shipbuilding. I worked at a fucking FedEx, putting packages on the truck. I... Where else have I worked? I don't know. It's been a lot of different jobs type shit, kind of. I was just starting jobs and I was quitting them because, you know, I ain't had no responsibilities. And plus, I was in school for barbering, you know what I'm saying? I was going to barber school and I was just really just focused and locked in on that. And I was just really wanted to know, learn how to cut. And I was just focused on that. I was just staying with that because, I don't know, I just, I guess I really just wanted to end up successful. I ain't going to even be say successful. I just wanted I just wanted, I just really wanted progress when it came to barbering. I wanted, to, I wanted to be able to cut hair good. I wanted to know how to cut hair so when people come in, I can cut their hair and just make money. I would, I remember being in barber school right when I first got there, and like just sitting there, and I would see everybody else around me just cutting. Right, people just be cutting, cutting, cutting. And I'd be there all fucking day, and I'd be like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Like, there's no progress happening at all right now. Like, what the fuck is going to happen? Like, nobody's coming to me because I'm new, first of all, and I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. So I was like, some got to fucking give. So I, I was like, bro, I'll random do If y'all go watch my very first vlog on here, I believe it's like, I don't, it's something with the barber school. The very first barber school vlog, for sure. But I think it was, that's the first video on here, too. The guy was, I asked this guy, I was like, bro, let me pay you to cut your hair. He was like, you look like you fucked my shit up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I started paying people to fucking cut their hair. Because, I would, like I said, I would see people cutting all the time in there. I'm like, bro, I'm not doing shit. I'm just wasting my fucking life right now. Like, I'm sitting here. You ever seen that commercial of the fucking, uh, what, what, what fucking college that was? I don't know. Some dude was like, you're sitting on the couch, your life passing you by. But, uh, what was it, ITT Tech, Virginia College, some shit. I think that school got shut down. But anyways, the point is, I felt like I wasn't, sh I ain't have shit going on. So, goddamn, I just wanted to pay people. I was like, bro, I'll pay you to cut your hair. I started paying people to cut their fucking hair because I just wanted to, I didn't want to waste my time, bro. Like, time is very valuable. A lot of people say time is our most precious asset, our most valuable asset. Shut the fuck up! Excuse me. Like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by this fucking tank. Time. People say time is our most valuable asset. And I don't think so. I think our most valuable asset is our mindset. Because you can have all the time in the world. You can have all the fucking time in the world, like... If you if your mind is fucking hooked on drugs and you're fucking hooked on fentanyl or crack or some shit, I'm pretty sure somebody who's um uh, fucking I don't know getting a certification in six months because they had the mindset to go get a certification and not fucking I don't know 
sit on the couch and beat their meat all day for six months. Their mindset was in a better place, so that time that they spent was fucking used in a more fucking valuable way, if that makes sense. Like, everybody... I would say everybody got the same 24 hours in a day, but that's kind of not true because it's kind of not. But essentially, that's kind of what I'm saying, kind of. Because, like, time time is not your most valuable asset if your mind's not there. It's just not. Your mind is your mind and your mindset is the most valuable asset. Time is like the... Bro, you can create time with your fucking mind, bro. Like, time is like the second most valuable, I would say. But I don't know. I think people just regurgitate shit that they hear. Like, bro, if your mindset is fucking fucked up, I don't give a fuck how much time you got. You're just going to be wasting that shit. But anyways... I just wish I knew how much, um, how long it would take to build clientele because it was just, I don't know, I was constantly stressed out, kind of. I was constantly, I wasn't constantly stressed out, but there was times where I would doubt, like, am I really going to be a barber, bro? Am I really going to, because, like, I would sit there and, like I said, if time was away, passing by and I just wanted to cut heads and learn shit, and sometimes, you know what I'm saying, especially when you first start in barber school, I could only imagine what it's like if you got bills and got to work a job and shit, but I didn't have a job or nothing there, like I was saying, but I would still from time to time feel like, damn, like, am I really going to become a barber? Like, is am I going to build clientele? Am I going to learn how to cut for real or good or like, like I almost fucking went to fucking drive trucks, you know what I'm saying, for, I almost went to fucking trucking school because I was like, I thought about it at least, I was like, I don't know if this barber shit going to take off. But I stuck with it. I'm glad I did. But I wish I knew how long it would take to build clientele if you were just constantly doing it every day like I was or focused on it every day. It don't take long, man. Like, within a year. Like, me, I didn't have no job. Like I was saying, I was focused on it. I was at school every day type shit from Monday through or Tuesday through Saturday. That's when our school was open. And I did that for, like, a year straight. And within less than a year, probably, like, nine months in, eight to nine months I had a full time clientele basically and so I just wasn't at full I wasn't at like a barber like a legit barber pricing but I had full time it, it, if I knew how easy it was to build client, I remember thinking it was going to take like years like three years or six years five years just to get like $600 a week type shit so that's one thing I wish I would have known because it would have been more comforting second thing I wish I would have done when I was a new barber was my first year um, after that barber school phase that I was just talking about, I wish I would have paid fucking taxes, bro. Bro, if you're a new barber, listen, bro. If you're in the shop now and you make within, I don't know, fucking $700 to $1,300 a week, start reporting your fucking taxes, bro. Just do it. Trust me, bro. This is my third year in the shop full time. Four year, four years ago, I was that was if you include four years ago, that was when I went to barber school. While I was just explaining in barber school every day, hustling in the Dallas and shit like that. But three years full time in the shop. Well, at the end of this year, twenty twenty four, it'd be three years full time in the shop. And I, I wish I would have start fucking reporting taxes then. Why? I'm explaining that why later in a second. But bro, it's so much shit. First of all, you're just not even a man, bro. Like, you're not a legit human being if you're not fucking paying taxes. Like, bro, like, now I'm 25 now, about to be 26 this year, and it's just like, I just feel like I'm behind on kind of certain shit. Not because I, 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 I'm, I don't, I, I don't have the, like, I'm lazy or like, um, fucking, I don't, I have it together and I'm behind, but because I chose to be behind on certain shit, like, why the fuck are you not paying your taxes? Like, you know how legit that makes you in the government's eyes and the bank's eyes and shit like that? Like, first of all, you can't get a house. I mean, you can, but it'll be way easier if you get a fucking, if you're reporting taxes and shit, for sure. <laughs> like, it's just, I don't know, bro. It, it's like, it's, it's just something there's no way around. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you might as well start doing it as soon as you get into your career and have fucking tax history. It's just, 
I don't know. It's just like, I don't. It's just, just do it, bro. Just do it. Like you're not even a, a fucking contributing citizen to the fucking society if you're not paying your taxes, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Just pay your fucking taxes. It's gonna help you in the long run. Another thing I wish I would have did differently as a new barber. Me personally, I wish I would have bought a house my first year in the shop. And that's another reason I should have been paying my taxes so I could fucking get a fucking house. I could have just reported my taxes and then that year or the next year for the year before, you know what I'm saying? Because that would have been my second year the next year after the first year and I would have reported on the year before if that makes sense. If I would have reported my fucking taxes, I would have got a fucking house. I should have got a house. And I should have fucking moved out and got a fucking house. I don't like apartments. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go into an apartment moving out of my folks' house. I had an apartment just last year, my second year, full-time in the shop. But I moved back in with my parents. And now I don't know what I'm about to do next. But I really wish I moved straight into a fucking house and paid my fucking taxes my first year in the shop. Or, Yeah. That's me, because I was making enough money to do that. I had saved up. I had saved up some fucking money. Uh, it was no reason not to do that shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, why Why fucking not? You'll be ahead of the game. Not only that, bro, it's just like... I heard... I was watching this one video yesterday, last night. And I was talking... I was listening to this guy talking about a rites of passage for a man. Like, you're not a fucking man... Just because you turn 18 or 21, bro. Like, there's shit you got to do to become a man. Like, it's not just because you got a dick in a ball sack between your fucking legs dangling with testosterone running through your body and shit, bro. Like, it don't worry like that, bro. Like, you got to have responsibility. You got to have accomplishments, you know what I'm saying? And get shit done and have responsibility and take care of shit. Be in full control. That's what being a man is about, you know what I'm saying, it's like a rite of passage, doing certain shit, and handling certain shit, that's, that's what being a man is, is about, you know what I'm saying, so I, I'm just start kind of like clicking, cause I'm a dumbass, <laughs> at 20 fucking five, but um, hey man, I don't put too much stress on myself, you know what I'm saying, you don't gotta take, you don't gotta be so hard on yourself, but I'm just saying though, like, I understand that shit now. This shit in full effect, 2024, paying taxes, about to get his house. Or well, I already got a house, I'm just about to remodel it, but I'm not about to put all that business out. But anyways, I wish I would've did that shit my very first year. Now, hold on, cause I fucking forgot the third thing I wish I would've did. Let me check my fucking notes again. Okay, so the buying the house was the third thing. The fourth thing, okay, the fourth thing I wish I would've did was from as a new barber, even my second year in, this is when I started talking about a lot of personal shit in the shop. Because I was in a relationship and I was just, sometimes when stuff would happen, I would talk about it. Or anything else, not even just relationships, right? I wish I would have not went in too much detail on my personal life, just anything. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it was. It could be anything going on, you know what I'm saying? Relationships, it could be fucking, I don't know, financial, anything. Just, of course, the barbershop is a place where people come to, like, you know what I'm saying, talk. Like, people going to, if you work in a barbershop, you know, you know everybody business. Because everybody coming here, we talk. It's just, just what it is. It's just a, like a, a fucking gossip center of capital of the world, the fucking barbershop, right? But... If you're a new barber, bro, and I don't know, it's just going to take your socialization kind of to a whole nother level because you're going to be like socializing all fucking day because there's going to be people coming through all day just talking shit and talking about shit. It's just 24-7, bro, every single day, like literally. That's just what it is. It's more of that than fucking cutting hair, really. So I just wish I didn't expose certain shit um, at certain times. When I was, I don't know, when shit was happening in my personal life too much. So, that's another thing, if you're new to the shop, to not be doing. Don't be running your mouth so much about personal shit or just anything, you know what I'm saying? Just, that don't mean don't have, you know what I'm saying, conversations and 
laugh and talk and fit in or like don't be a fucking weirdo and not talk you just you know, the only thing you're gonna get from not talking is being a fucking weird ass motherfucker that's what the fuck your reputation gonna be like you know what i'm saying just i'm just saying like have some type of income post control over certain shit you know what i'm saying you don't gotta tell people everything just think try to think about certain shit i know that can be hard especially when you're in the barbershop trust me but just try to think about certain shit and and hold certain shit in just just use your brain think about shit before you say it the fifth thing i wish i would have done fifth thing i wish i would have done my first when i was uh as a new barber first year second year you still a new fucking barber in your second year third year because if you're gonna be a barber for fucking like 10 years that's still fucking you but what i wish i would have did this whole fucking like my first year in the shop or a second whatever was stay consistent on social fucking media bro oh my god if you watching this if you watching this and you're a barber i don't care what part of your career you're in but if you're a barber and you like in a school barber school or the title of this video would be like five things i wish i would have done differently or new when i was before i became a barber or as a new barber so shit like that right start building your fucking social media because bro it's 2024 <clears throat> you gotta have a personal brand nowadays like you just gotta have a personal brand built around you like you have to put yourself out there and constantly market and be doing kind of like innovative you gotta stand out from the crowd bro you gotta constantly update your social media bro constant like this this youtube shit me posting every day on youtube me posting every day on instagram facebook i'm about to get on tiktok post on there every day that shit in the long run if you post every fucking day and get in the habit of doing that for like a year straight you're not gonna stop doing that after that year you're gonna keep doing it because it's gonna be a fucking habit in your head now it's gonna be like a daily hygiene habit like i hope y'all wake up and brush y'all teeth and wash y'all balls and ass and shit every day you know what i'm saying because if you don't i don't fucking know you just sorry are you go to the fucking gym when you wake up because after you get out of the gym you're gonna want to shower it's gonna make you fucking shower so if you're not doing that you just lazy i'm just gonna be honest i don't know wash your foot i hope y'all wash your ass brush your teeth like i said but when you get into a habit of fucking posting every day that's how that shit gonna come like second nature like it's gonna be like a hygiene fucking habit right like of course i'm gonna brush my teeth today of course i'm gonna upload a video today like the fuck i got to you know what i'm saying if you do that for a year straight bro and you do it for another year after that and then another year after that and build up a strong habit of fucking just yeah like i'm a i am a fucking personal brand like i i do this shit that shit gonna snowball and over the years like a motherfucker i don't know about y'all i hope y'all can't hear that loud ass fucking idiot outside damn these motherfuckers be having like straight pipes and shit on their car with fucking four cylinders and shit you're not even going fast bro this shit just loud and stupid but anyways if y'all keep on doing that shit year after year or just a long amount of time that shit gonna snowball like a motherfucker most people i know are not fuck they don't make it fucking big in the barber game most barbers i know if they're gonna be a real barber and stick with that shit they're gonna be in the game for years right they're gonna be in the game the the my shop owner for example he's been in the game like 13 years like 15 years or some shit right his brother same amount of time around that time i'm around people i came into this game you know what i'm saying plugged in with people who've been doing this shit for like years right imagine if you fucking post and build your social media every single day like treat as a part of your job all right y'all my bad phone died and it's on charge right now plugged into this ring light so the audio quality fucked up because i'm not using it because it got it plugged into the little little cardinal phone i ain't no shit i can do about it but listen what i was saying was start building your social media stay consistent on that shit because just who knows you can end up like fucking i don't know Chris Bazio, Vic Blends, 360 GZ, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If we if we gonna be in barbering for the long fuck fucking haul, imagine if you really stay consistent on your social media and really apply 
effort to build that shit. It's, it's not even, it's it shouldn't even be thought of like separate from barbering. Like it's 2024, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not gonna be like, I don't know, bro. I just see myself as more than just a person who's just gonna be standing behind the chair. Like I feel like you can just do other shit not not even just do other shit like that's outside of barbering, but like stuff that's with barbering. Like just don't, I don't know. Just don't be the person who stayed in this game forever and you didn't build up your social media, bro. Like look at all the barbers who done built their social media. Look at Jay Faded, Joel. I don't, if y'all don't know who that is, I don't know what the fuck wrong with you. You, I don't, you not building your social media. I know that. <laughs> Cause how do you fuck don't you don't you never heard of him? You he never he's a barber. He just a he's a big barber on fucking social media and shit like Instagram and shit like that. I don't know. Look at Vic Blends, man. Look at all these. It's a lot of other names that ain't got millions of followers like uh, like Vic Blends or some shit. Or but they done built a fucking brand though. <laughs> like that. I don't know. It's just something dope about that to me. You know what I'm saying building like kind of an influence online. And I just, that's what I'm fucking gonna do. I don't know. Just try for a year, man. Just try for fucking a month, six months. And uh, get that shit done, man. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I'm about to go ahead and wrap this shit up. So uh, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. I'm ready to go home, go to sleep. I'm tired as fuck. Somebody just pulled up outside. They probably think I'm weird as fuck for talking to this camera. But anyway, man, look, I'm about to get the fuck up out of here, man. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and check y'all out, you know what I'm saying? Hit y'all up, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Hit that head, you know what I'm saying? You little puss. I do all that. <clears throat> Only if you like, comment, subscribe, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing you in this video, I'm fuck with you. Black and white diamonds, man, my wrist should be on black. All my bracelets and watches on my arms, I look